All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Malachi coming at you with another video. But first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kadash. And in the ancient Hebrew tongue, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His begotten Son, our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also, want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching this truth and having a hundred percent truth and alikement on the highways and byways teaching the like doctrine putting up videos diligently throughout the week feeding the sheep shalom to you so look here brethren we're not ignorant of satan's devices and uh man they're, they're, they're about to come in like a flood I, you know this article even from the headline it's showing you who we truly are man at this point, if you do not understand that the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, the Lord is not dealing with you, and you should get on your get on your knees right now and, and pray to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai that He puts the Spirit upon you. Okay? The doors are closing. The enemy is about to come in like a flood, man. And it's articles like this that prove exactly what we've been saying it says wisconsin governor announces free coronavirus testing for african americans and latinos i'll say it again wisconsin governor announces free coronavirus testing for african americans and latinos but check this out it says milwaukee wisconsin all african americans latinos and tribal community members now why would they why would all three of these quote unquote uh, groups be labeled together you got it because you are the Israelites man if you do not see that man pray that, that the most high puts the spirit upon you man because that means you do not have the hedge of protection over you and even those of us in the truth that understand this we still need to pray man they're about to come in like a flood. I read an article um, that a lot of the African nations, uh, they, they received the testing kits for coronavirus and they started to test like fruits and different animals. And they said every time they tested a fruit or an animal, it came up that it ha they had uh, coronavirus. Telling you that the actual test kits, they contain the coronavirus. So when you see articles like this and they say, yeah, we're giving out free tests for blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. They're trying to pin it on you. They're about to come in like a flood, man. It says American Salaki, African Americans, Latinos and tribal community members in Wisconsin will have access to free COVID-19 testing under a plan announced Thursday by Governor Tony Evers. Evers plan is an effort to combat the staggering racial and ethnic disparities Wisconsin and many other states are facing when it comes to COVID-19 cases and deaths, which is bullshit. You notice how when the, the, the Chinese, uh, this whole coronavirus started, basically the so-called Chinese, which are the Moabites, and then the Japanese, which are you Ammonites, they began to get stereotyped. And soon as that happened, what, 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 what came next? That's when all of a sudden Esau and, the, and Moab and Ammon, they said, no, 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 no. We're not about to do this. Pin it on these fuckers. OK, and then that's when you see articles. Yeah, African-Americans, Latinos and, and Native Americans, they're highly likely to get it more, you know, get the coronavirus more than any other race. That's bullshit. OK. They want to round your ass up and put you in a FEMA camp so they could fucking kill you. And excuse my language, but this pisses me off, man. It pisses me off because a lot of our people, they still talking about some. Yeah, man, uh, uh, y'all trying to go on a cruise this, this summer? Like, man, y'all are so, it's like just Scottish, uh, Salaki, Scottish children, man. Ignorant, man. That's why whatever happens, man, you deserve it. You literally got men of your nation preaching and prophesying to you who you are and to be careful about uh, uh, Satan's devices that he's trying to pull over on your head, man. And you don't even care, man. So whatever happens, if you don't listen to this, man, whatever happens, man, you deserve it, man.
But it says Evers plan is an effort to combat the staggering racial and ethnic disparities Wisconsin and many other states are facing when it comes to COVID-19 cases and deaths. African-Americans and Latinos account for about half of all coronavirus cases in Wisconsin. Once again, making you the enemy. OK, pinning something on you, man. It says Latinos make up less than 7% of the state's population, but account for 29% of the COVID-19 cases. Boy, get the fuck out of here, man. African-Americans make up only about 6% of Wisconsin's total population, but account for 21% of the confirmed cases statewide. If y'all believe this, y'all are crazy, man. About 30% of Wisconsinites, okay, Who've died after contracting COVID-19 are African American. That's because when you have any type of uh, any type of issue with you, you can have the flu, you can have heart problems, you can have diabetes, you can have uh, 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 respiratory problems that were you know before this whole COVID-19. They're going to say that you have COVID-19 and they're going to kill you. This is the devil. This is the devil. This is what he does. And the article just went away for some reason. <laughs> now, I hope y'all saw that. The article just literally went away. I have no idea why. Okay, here we go. It says, uh, f- the free testing will be conducted by Wisconsin National Guard members at community testing sites throughout the state, showing you that the army and the military, they're going to be conducting this test and say you do have COVID-19. You're not going home. They're not going to send you papers and say, hey, go quarantine at home. No, 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 no. You're coming with them. You're going to a, 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 a hospital and you're not nine times out of ten. You're not coming home. It says. Race and class spell the difference. Coronavirus spares one neighborhood but ravages the next. We can bend the curve on this if we test more, Ever said. Is that going to solve economic disparities? No, but hopefully it's going to save some lives. That's the critical thing right now. Okay, I'm not going to um, read this whole article because you get the gist of it. I'll post it in uh, post-production. But let's get into some scripts. And I'm going to get into... Uh, First, I'm going to get into basic milk script, man, for all. And, and that's another thing. All you so-called Christians, where, where's your past, your, your, your so-called pastors? What, what are they doing right now? Uh, nothing. I don't understand how to, how do, how are y'all following these people, man? How, like, how? Like, do you not critically think? All it is going around and they, yeah, it's going to be okay. Uh, it's going to be okay. You just come to, you just come to our church. When we open back up, everything's going to be okay. Man, y'all are sodish children, man. This is St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I've come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. A sword is what? It's for destruction. So the Lord is not sending peace, Okay. You're not going to come. There's not going to be a day where they say, OK, all the coronavirus is done and, and everything's back to normal. And let's turn the economy back on. You'll never have that again. They're going to use this this whole pandemic, this whole coronavirus BS for their new world order with their which they're doing now. My last video in Canada, you have police officers literally coming into someone's house, a family's house at eight o'clock at night, telling them, hey, we may think that you uh, interacted with certain people. So you need to go. You need to come with us and be tested. It's not it's not a thing of an option. And that's what they told the family. They said this is not an option. You're coming with us. OK. That's what they're about to do with you, Jakes, you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. There's no peace coming on this planet, man. Destruction is coming. Destruction is at hand. Jacob's trouble is at hand. Matter of fact, let's get it. It's going to be too late for a lot of you, Jakes, man. 
and everything's going to click at the last second. But once again, it, 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 it's going to be too late because the Lord is not going to be dealing with you when you had the, the, the opportunity to get the hedge of protection over you, man. You scoffed at the prophets, okay? And you said, oh, y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all y'all just niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, y'all dress up like superheroes. You know, all of this, all of this madness, man. <laughs> Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. So the days to come, there's going to be no other day that you can compare it to. So you can watch all the transatlantic slave trade mo uh, movies and documentaries you want. The day of Jacob's trouble, it pales in comparison to this, to, to, to uh, the, the um, slavery, okay? You can't compare it, man. You're not going to be able to compare it. That's how great this day of wrath is going to be, man. It says, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Now, hold on. That he that should be saved out of it is the remnant, the Lord's elect. So before you get comfy and you say, oh, yeah, I'm an Israelite and everything's going to be okay. No, 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 no. You better pray. And this goes, goes for myself as well. You, but you better pray that you're of the elect, okay? That you are of the remnant. You women, the one-third, okay? And your children. You better pray that you make it out of this, man. Let me go to Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel chapter 21. 21. And I'll start at verse. I'll start at verse 9. Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. So that sword is destruction. And who is the most high? Who was given the sword for the for uh, 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 as, as a birthright? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Why do you think they love hunting? It says it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? So, so right now, should you be in joy? Should you be in the spirit of joy? It said, it contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. And he have given it to be furbished, that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Cry and howl, son of man. For it shall be upon my people. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans who took this time in your captivity here in Babylon, you took it as a joke. And you want it to be like these Gentiles, man. These heathen. It says, it shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon thy thigh. So the Lord is going to give you over unto the sword, man. In, uh, in this realm through Esau, okay? Through his martial law. Through his FEMA camps. Through the race wars that are coming. You people are about to, there's about to be a sore slaughter in this land, man. This isn't a game. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. It says, woe into the Salakia, woe, which means destruction, to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, 
For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So these devils, the reason why they're ramping everything up, why uh, soon as 2020 came in and they just literally was just like, look, open the floodgates, well, coronavirus, uh, 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 fighting with China, fighting with Iran. And this stuff is only going to intensify. But the reason why they did this is because they know that their kingdom has a short time. They're not going to go out with their hands up and just say, OK, you Israel, you blacks, Latinos and Native Americans, it's your turn. You're going to rule forever. No. They're, uh, this is how Esau Edom thinks. They know that they're going down. OK, they know that they're about to be at the size of the pit in, in the state of hell. OK, in the state of being the lowest of the low. But their objective is to bring as many of you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans with them, man. Through that microchip, through this vaccinations, through these vaccinations, OK? They understand that you have a birthright and that you're about to be given that birthright. That Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. But in their eyes, they said, fuck it. We're taking out as many Israelites as we can, man. Why do you think they gave um, a lot of our people, which are now celebrities, why do you think they gave them so much money? Because they knew that they could influence you and, and bring you and suck you into this system. So now a lot of our people, they don't even care when the prophets speak. Because the, the, their own people who are in high status in this society have told them, get your money. Uh, 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 you know, uh, yeah, we've been oppressed, but now we got opportunity here in America, which is all BS. That's Esau being his his uh, uh, serpent self showing his 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 uh, his, de his devices, man. I'm going to end it here in second Corinthians. Chapter two, verse 11, lest Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So we are not ignorant of what Satan's doing. The so-called white man, we're not ignorant to his his plans, man. That's why we can break this stuff down, because it's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. He's shown us these things to warn you to blow a trumpet unto our nation, man. Because time is running out. The doors of repentance are closing and the enemy is about to come in like a flood, man. So Israel, get your houses, your houses in orders in order. Get your temples right, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kadash. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. Wa Abad Babal. This is your brother Malachi signing off. Shalom.